Hello folks, this is 2020, May, June, paper 1-1, one, one, and the question number is 27. This is concerned with the chapter superposition of waves, as shown by the diagram here. So it says that uh, the diagram shows a string stressed between fixed points x and y. x and y. There is a stationary wave on the string, it shows here. The solid curve shows the string at a position of max displacement. Solid curve shows the position at max displacement. The dashed curve shows the other position of max displacement. So it is the reverse maximum displacement. So it is uh, at the lowest point. So it is at the highest point. Highest point, lowest point, and so on. The straight central dashed line shows the mean position of the string. So this is the mean position here. Point S on the string is directly above P. So point S is above P. So it's the uh, anti-node point here. Point T on the string is directly below Q, T here. So it is the max ampli uh, maximum upward amplitude, maximum lower uh, am um, downward amplitude. Which statement is correct? So the first one is, a short time later, point R on the string will be displaced. So it says that sometime later, R will be displaced. It is not true because R is the node point here. So it is node point, node point. So this is node, node, node node and a node this is anti node anti node this is anti node and again anti node so r is a fixed point so that's why it cannot be displaced because it's the node point so it's a wrong choice number b points yes and t on the string move in opposite directions point yes and t on the string move in. so that's true it's because uh, right now s is at the highest point t at the lowest point so after some time it will come down and it will go up wherever they are even if yes is here and t is there it is the opposite their position is opposite and their uh, movement is also opposite so this seems to be a correct choice let's go to others also the distance between p and q is one wavelength p and q is not true because one wavelength is from here to here or from here to here so it should be from here to here it is one wavelength so from p to q it is half of the wavelength so anti node to anti node anti node to next anti node it is half of the wavelength so this is also a wrong choice number d two points on the string that are equal from point r why we're in phase so it says that two points two points which are equal so the point here and the point here they vibrate in phase again untrue because the point here is right now here the point here right now here they are executing exactly opposite vibrations even if i go through this point so this point let us say this point and uh, this point let us say this point so these two are exactly opposite nature so actually they should vibrate out of phase opposite of exactly opposite phase not in phase so that's why this is also untrue so the correct choice is choice number b only